Would you, would you, get, would you get yourself killed for the sake not to lie? If I have Answer a question. Answer my question. Yeah, yes or no, yes or no. Can I ask you a question? No, just a yes or no. But my point is this. No. You just ask me a question. I just open my mouth to answer it. Yes and then no you interrupt me and just answer it. So, my, so allow me the space that I need in order to answer the question in the way in which I want to answer it. Okay? Because what I'm trying to say to you is, if I have a choice between now that I'm safe, now that the Lord has redeemed my soul, I see things get closer. The way I saw things before Jesus saved me, I would um, I I sinned against God like everybody else, right? Like, you know, and I'm still not perfect even now. But my point is it's now that I know Jesus, now that I know the price that Jesus paid to redeem my soul, I would rather suffer death than sin against God. Now that's not to say that I'm perfect, but I don't no, choose. No one is perfect. I choose. Uh, it, I, as, you know, I would I'd much rather walk in the way of my children. But my point is this, lying, you say that there's reason, there's justification for lying. Yeah. If it's to save somebody or something like that. Okay, according to your Quran, yeah? I was just trying to... Know. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just your, your own understanding. No, no, it's Islam, it's Islam, it's Islam. Okay, alright, fine, okay, right, right, whatever. But you see, the thing is, so you see the thing is, it's you know everybody has told lies. Okay, and everybody has sins against God. You said that your good deeds have to outweigh your bad deeds. Okay, but I'm gonna ask you a question. How can a good righteous God acquit the So how can he judge you based on who told a big lie versus who told a little lie? God is a righteous God and a just God and perfect in all of these ways. How can he judge you based on your good deeds and bad deeds? Because or basically what you're saying is because Jesus, you know, he got to the heart of the Lord. He said if you hate him, you know, that's the same as man. If you look at a woman with love, that's the same as adultery. You know, he got to the heart of it. And so when you stand before God, you're going to be judged based upon what you do and what you do. And the one thing that people have issues with is that they're more sinful than they think. When Adam sinned in the garden, when God created Adam and Eve, Adam sinned one time and he had to leave Eve. And so if Adam's one sin meant that he was separated from God, then even if you've only ever done one bad deed, you're not going to make it into heaven. Because that one deed that Adam did meant he had to leave, and God cursed him and said, to dust you are, and to dust you shall return. One sin. That was all he did, it was one sin. So it ain't a case of your good deeds are weighing your bad deeds. It's that your bad deeds will never, it will mean that you're lost. You're lost because of your no, deeds. No, no, no. Adam, Adam didn't just leave uh, the heaven. Adam didn't just leave. That's, that's a confusion right there. No, it's not Adam. a confusion. Okay, cool. Uh, it's, in it's Islam, true. in the Quran, Allah has planned Adam to sin, has planned him to sin. Because Allah said what to the angels with him. He said there was because you believe there were creatures before Adam came. You believe there were creatures on earth before humanity existed. Animals. Animals. Yeah, thank you very because much. Yeah, yeah, so, but let me let me ask no, no, you this. Let me according to you, according to you, Adam planned for Adam to sin. Yeah. No, he didn't plan. All right. Allah. This is my belief. Allah does not always say Allah planned Adam to sin. So basically, the so reason why, the second reason, yes, because he sin, Allah wants to just do them, but he failed the test. My second reason is the reason why Adam left the heaven is because Allah said to his angels, before he created Adam, he said, there's going to be a new generation, which is humanity, there's going to be a new generation on earth. So and the Malaika asked him, how come you gonna how come there's going to be a new a new generation or new other creation rather than the one you have? Yes, it says we were going to be called the son of Adam, which is very very Adam. So Allah Adam didn't just live in the heaven just because of his sin. The second reason is because Allah wanted him to because Allah said there's going to be a new generation on earth. But no, it was according to his sin. And my point is this, because... Yeah, because no, it doesn't... Because there has to be a new generation. No, no, God told him to be fruitful and multiply. When he created him, he told him to be fruitful and multiply. Okay? But he told him that before he was before he sinned. And it was after he got kicked out that 
Adam and Louis were and they made pay. And then Cain sinned and then what they got what they, what happened? Cain and Abel um, got a sacrifice. Cain's sacrifice was accepted to God, but Cain wasn't. And so Cain in his jealousy, Cain is there, had it been his children. But Cain killed his brother. And his brother's blood was crying out to God from the ground. Abel is a foreshadow and a type of Jesus because Jesus poured out his blood on the ground for the souls of humanity. And my point is this, so you, you can't redeem yourself. Your good deeds outweigh in your bad deeds isn't going to get you to heaven because Adam's one sin got him kicked out of heaven. And so you're not getting into heaven with your sin. And so if you want salvation, you've got to believe in Jesus. Jesus, you believe him to be a prophet. He's not a prophet, he's God in the flesh. Yeah, how about, how about Jesus didn't know that I was his son? No one, no but one he knew took that. Us. He limited himself. No, but he limited he himself. He limited himself. He took on flesh. Oh, he became he a human. Himself. Yeah, he one did. Excuse, one no, excuse. No, it's not an then excuse. Then I'm not worshipping him. He came he he limited, about. No, he limited Jesus so said, Jesus about? claimed to be God. Jesus claimed to be God. Okay, then not but the you, take, you take the word of a man that came 600 years after Jesus. You take the word of a man that came 600 years after Jesus. There were eyewitnesses that testified. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And you know what? He did. Why is it excuse? Because it's the truth. It's not an excuse. It's an excuse. Yeah, why why is it why is it Muhammad even if it comes six billion six billion years after? Why would you take the word of a man that was here in Jerusalem that you were nine no. your child? Muhammad thought he was demon possessed. According to the head. Oh sorry, can you stick to one point? So you so you took it, so you took it by your Christian perspective, you said you cannot read the missing through just through the blood of Jesus that we see. You are? Yeah. So you took it from your from your Christian perspective. I'm Muslim. I believe all the sins can be forgiven through seeking forgiveness to Allah. So you took it through your Christian perspective. No, you're taking the word of a man that was hearing voices in his head and thought he was being in possession in the Hadith. Mohammed, so, type in Google, Mohammed thought he was demon possessed. Um, yeah. Type in Google, Mohammed thought he was demon possessed. Yeah. And, and, uh, Yeah. Guess what? Uh, they found like, see when the earth can't get, leaves mark, leaves mark of 
of being conquered. What is the see, see when the Arabs have been conquered, they're smart, like, smart. I know what I'm saying. There's no, there's no such thing as Muhammad was the son of was here in Well, he was here in but you know what? Like I'm, I'm looking at these sources, and I mean, there are there are sources, and then obviously you've got. Um, is it true? It's the man from Revelation. Yeah, well, well, uh, the sources, yes. The sources my are preaching the Quran, the Hadith Tessa, from where, from where Hamas took Muslim conquest. Imam, what do you mean Hamas? Imam, sorry. Uh, these books were made by highest Islamic authority. They imply Muhammad was nothing like Jesus. To sum up, Muhammad, 40, 19 to 20, speaks to Muhammad about Muhammad's sins and they need forgiveness. Surah 48, 1 to 3, and Surah 14. So what does say? Was... How on has Allah saying that Muhammad, Muhammad has sinned? to be forgiven. Therefore, the man who is in the Muhammad is infallible. Um, the Sufi, uh, uh, Muhammad is in our begging for forgiveness. Muhammad did and his judgment. Muhammad was bewitched and under, under a spell that's in the Sahaya Bukhara. Well, in comparison, Jesus had no sin attributed to him. Yeah, and, because... and the Bible Hold on, and the Bible says the only God is about sin. Okay, let me make my point. Hold on, and the Bible says the only God is about sin. Uh, so, 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 so Jesus, Jesus is better than Muhammad because he was sinless. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Jesus is God. Okay. Okay. You wanna, you wanna Jesus and Muhammad Jesus comparison? Jesus is God. Je Muhammad was a was a leader of a tribe. Jesus was a learned man on the street, sleeping on the street. Muhammad had to do so ah, something with times. Here we go. Times. Muhammad's initial reaction was that he was possessed by a demon and where, repeatedly where? tried to commit suicide. Where, where? What does it say? So, where in the Quran? Where on earth? Where Muhammad on Hadith? Muhammad started gave him revelations and his initial one... Oh, um, this provides no source. Which source is it saying that Muhammad was possessed by Show me a source. Are, are you looking at yourself? Like I'm accusing Jesus with something, uh, but I have no source. All right. Well, I'm trying to find a source. You won't like it, innit? No, if I'm I tell Jesus, if I tell Jesus was the demon, All right. Jesus well, I'm trying was, to find a source for you. Jesus was a fake prophet, and I, I was a, he was a fake god. If I said Jesus was a fake god, he, he never came to be god, and I provide no source. Would you like it? No, you wouldn't. Well, I'm showing you evidence. Which evidence is they are claiming Jesus Muhammad was possessed so, by demons? So, uh, Muhammad's initial reaction, which is in the hadith, is which that. Which hadith? Alright, hold on. Which Let's hadith? You're struggling to find the hadith. Let me find it. Oh, yeah. Everything is. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Why is it not here? It's a mix of divine inspiration with the form of the word dream to He never had a dream that he'd come to it like a white man. He used to go into the region um, of the Cable of Hyra, where he used to worship Allah alone, and he used to be a big He used to take with him journeys to the other and then come back to his wife to hard work. Alright, alright, okay. So take his food by the wife again for another period of stay. Until suddenly the truth descended upon him where he was in the cave of Hero. An angel came to him and asked an him angel. to read. Hold on, it wasn't an angel. But I asked him to read the prophet's wife. I do not know how to read this, sir. Uh, the angel caught me instantly, okay? And that's 
He was switching from terror. He said, come over, cover me, cover me, till fear was over him. He said, what is wrong with me? He told them everything that happened. He did something could happen to him. Um, he basically thought he was possessed by demons. So... He was shaken of error. No, Imagine. he was terrified by his experience because what he had yeah. an encounter with was, was Satan. God is gentle. God is gentle. God is gentle. God, when Gabriel appeared to um, Mary, he appeared as a, uh, he was gentle. He said, how Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. He was gentle. That was Satan. That was Satan. Mohammed was demon possessed. Mohammed was demon possessed. And you know, okay, wow. what, he said he got his divine inspiration well when he was speaking with a child. Well he said he got his inspiration when he was in bed with Galisha. Yeah. That God would speak to him when he was in bed with a child. That's the kind of God that you worship. When he was in bed with a child, okay, then God would speak. No, we're, we're not. We're talking point. about all of it. No, 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 no. We're talking no. about all of it. Jump in. Answer it. Could jump in. Answer it. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, Apparently, your so-called Allah used to give Muhammad inspiration when he was in bed with nine-year-old Aisha. That's disgusting. God would know that was disgusting. We as human beings know it now to be disgusting. But Muhammad didn't know it was disgusting. And you listen to him and base your salvation upon him. Okay. 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 So, there are two points that we need to discuss about. The first one, he was terrified. So you saying God is God God is what? He's gentle. You're talking from your Christian perspective. No, I'm talking because him. Allah decided to. I know him. I have a relationship with him. Uh, that's nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. That's nonsense. You want to know Jesus, I you know have this lies. I, I no, when you. Jesus okay, says cool, 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 cool. He's saying God is gentle. Yeah. Okay, so why, why, why Allah? Does he need to discuss with you? Does he need to discuss with anyone how he's going to refer to Muhammad? Come on! Muhammad he was a liar! Him. That was a paedophile! Muhammad was a liar and, and a paedophile! Uh, as you noticed, when you were talking, I respectfully listened to you, so I'm expecting you to do the same for me, please. Okay, he was terrified. Okay, no problem, because we all know, as a Muslim, we believe, Gabriel, Gabriel, He's a very looking powerful angel. That's his normal for a human being to look at an angel strategy, to look at, to see the true, the true form of Gabriel. If you see him right now in the sky, flying, the sky, Gabriel flying in the skies, Allah is in the Quran. If you have only seen him by, by the shape of by the true form of Gabriel, Wallahi, he will get blind. It is normal for a normal human being to be terrified to, to, to see such a thing. Oh, you get me? No. He was powerful. So then why did Mary have the same? Why was it Mary the same? Because Allah chooses to. Allah so chooses no, no, to. no. Because what was not the Secondly, secondly Gabriel, Gabriel came in a form of a man. He didn't he see did. Mary. He did, he did. He was lying. You know, if Mohammed was alive right now, he'd be locked up. You've been disrespectful now. You've been disrespectful now. I'm telling you the truth. Don't no, you've been disrespectful now. I'm telling you the truth. You've been disrespectful now. You are. You're being deceived by your false religion. Okay, cool. Okay, let me just finish that one. Mohammed didn't know where he was going when he died. And that was the question that I was trying to ask you earlier. Yeah, he was going to heaven. Yeah. He didn't know where he was going. He was going to heaven. No, he didn't know where he was going. And it's he written did. in your Quran. It's written in your Quran. Have a look there. Have a look there. Have a look there. Have a look there. Did. Look there. Did. Look there. Did. did not okay, know go. where he was going. Let's just stick to Have the a point. Go. Have to, a look. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. So uh, currently I can't have a conversation with you without you interrupting me. Right, so on. thank you very much. I had a nice conversation with you, and I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even keep going. Because I can't even say a sentence right. without interrupting. 
That's the problem. I want my freedom. I want my freedom of speech. What is freedom of speech now? Okay, now. Okay. The stage that Muhammad was scared, was terrified. When Allah, when, when Gabriel always, when Gabriel came to Mary, he came in a form of a man, such a normal man. Muhammad, however, Muhammad, when when Gabriel came, the revelation when he when he did give the revelation to Allah, from Allah to Muhammad, he revealed his truest form. He was, you see, Allah states in the Quran, if he actually see the shape. The, the true form of Gabriel, and we see him right now in real life, we gotta get blind. Imagine a, a normal human being seeing such a terrifying thing. Our angels are not nice, are not made nice, I'm telling you right now. He was Did angels. Yeah. So the claim that Muhammad was terrified, so that means he was he was by the devil, it doesn't it doesn't prove anything, yeah. You're just My claiming point is this. false Angel claim. Gabriel appeared to Mary six hundred years before he appeared to, apparently to so, Muhammad. So what's wrong? two very what's wrong? different personalities. Okay, because Gabriel came as a Muslim, you, you serve from your own Bible. No, so you're coming to me with your, your, own, your own perspective. I don't believe in the Quran. Okay, cool. But so I'm saying my own telling perspective. You that you're I'm telling you my own perspective. He, he thought that was a Where demon. did you find the hadith? I just did showed you. you. I showed you. He didn't. He said he had revelation from Gabriel. No, he was a demon. He was terrified. He was a demon. Satan. You know what? I don't even believe it was a demon. I believe it. I had the last life. conversation with you, I but I'm saying, I'm saying there's no point. Jesus, I'm saying there's no point. Like what I'm saying to you.